fallopian tube recanalization and selective salpingography. The most common cause of infertility in women is a blockage or narrowing of one or both fallopian tubes. During fertilization, the egg travels from the ovary through the fallopian tube and into the endometrial cavity of the uterus. Conception cannot occur if a blockage prevents the egg from traveling its normal path through the fallopian tube and into the endometrial cavity. A non-surgical outpatient procedure called hysterosalpingography can be used to check for a blockage in the fallopian tubes. A catheter is placed through the vagina and into the endometrial cavity. Next, a dye visible under x-ray is injected into the endometrial cavity. If there is no blockage, the x-ray should show the dye flowing out of both fallopian tubes and into the surrounding space, the abdominal cavity. If one fallopian tube is blocked, the dye will not spill out into the abdominal cavity on that side of the patient. In some cases, blockage can occur in both fallopian tubes. Notice that the dye will remain within the endometrial cavity. When the blockage is confirmed, a selective salpingography can be performed. The catheter is pushed into the oz or opening of the blocked tube. A thin guide wire is placed through the catheter, pushed directly through the blockage and out the opened end of the fallopian tube. A small microcatheter is then fed through the first catheter and over the guide wire out the fallopian tube. Dye is sent through the microcatheter. A new x-ray should show the dye flowing out the opened end of the fallopian tube. As the microcatheter is withdrawn, saline solution is pumped through it into the fallopian tube. The pressure of the saline solution will clear any remaining debris that caused the blockage, leaving behind an open tube. Finally, dye is again injected into the endometrial cavity to check that both fallopian tubes are now completely open. The patient can return home the day of the procedure and can go back to a normal routine within 24 hours. Little to no pain should be felt post-procedure. Now that the tube is opened, the egg can pass from the ovary to the endometrial cavity. Successful conception should now be a greater possibility.